Emma Howland. The Purcell School near Watford is Britain's oldest specialist music school, and it's home to two of our semi-finalists. Flautist Emma Halnan has to fit preparing for the competition into an already packed schedule. Life at school is busy because obviously you've got loads of practice to fit in for like all your lessons because I have two flute lessons every week and then I've got my second study which is piano and I've got all my academic work plus exams for that and orchestras and chamber music and it never stops. I have to write everything down or I just find myself forgetting it or at least thinking I'm going to forget it. So my diary is just, it's just beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> it's just a nightmare. I have to get a highlighter out and highlight the things that are still relevant. <laughs> Makes me feel quite ill looking at it, actually. <laughs> Even when she returns home to Letchworth for the weekend, Emma's busy life doesn't stop. My mum said, hey, why don't you just, like, teach some people? And I was thinking, no, I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't be able to do it. And then I kind of gave in and, and I ended up having a few students. And it's, it's great. It's a really good Saturday job. Emma received one piece of advice from her first flute teacher that left a lasting impression. She said, you have to be aware, it doesn't matter how much you practice, there will always be somebody practising for twice as long as you. And I think Emma took that to heart and decided that she wanted to be that person. And she does practice a lot. I don't have like a classical music background or anything. It's all new. So it's new for me and my parents. So we're all kind of working it out together. Just for a bit of extra fun and something a bit unique, I'm doing one of my pieces with marimba accompaniment. It's a really lovely slow piece. It's actually about giant African snails, which is quite interesting and slightly obscure, but that's what it's about. <laughs> In the woodwind final, Emma's choice of music really impressed the judges. Tonight, she hopes to deliver a performance that will win her a place in the BBC Young Musician final. Yeah, I'm pretty determined, although, you know, obviously the same as last time, I keep saying, you know, don't worry if you don't get through, you know, but secretly at the back of my mind, I'm kind of like, yes, I want to get through, I want to get through.
In a broad-ranging programme, Emma also played Hamilton Harties in Ireland. And the Largo from Bach's Concerto in G minor. To end her programme, she's chosen the third movement from Benjamin Goddard's Suite de Trois Morceaux. It's very lively, very happy, almost cheesy. It's just like a ballroom waltz, really. You can imagine them all dancing around. It's lovely. Halman and a performance that seems to have delighted the audience here at the BBC Hot Hall.